Offer lifted. 25 spin. Welcome to Price Squawk. Hello, and this is Graham from Price Squawk. This is the first video in a series showing you how you can use Price Squawk in your new Jigsaw Day Trader platform. And this information also translates across the Jigsaw suite of tools in other platforms. What I have up here are two reconstructed tapes. Unrelated markets, this is for demonstration purposes. Uh, we open Price Squawk from the top bar here, the musical note button. Welcome to Price Squawk. And by Market default, open. Price Squawk is going to give you raw feedback of the time and sales as Sell. seen in your reconstructed tapes. Sell. Now it also has an algorithm running that will increase and decrease Sell. the loudness, that is the Buy. sound volume of your trade sounds Buy. based Buy. on how much volume is flowing through the tape Buy. over time. And if you want to understand Sell. how that algorithm works, you can check out this link here. But what this means is that the tape is going to sound louder when there is an increase of volume flow in your market and it will sound softer when volume is drying up. You'll also hear some Bye. large trade alerts Bye. as configured Bye. on the config tab here and you can tune these parameters to your Sell. particular market. Sell. And Sell. if for instance a 100 lot is traded at the bid and offer you'll hear something like this. Sell. 100 hit. 100 Bye. left. So straight away we have Bye. audible Bye. feedback Bye. of the volume flow and Bye. we're listening Bye. to Bye. the Bye. raw battle Bye. of Bye. buyers Bye. versus sellers going at it in the market. So Bye. I like to bring this up for usually thinner markets. It works Sell. well for gold and crude with the default settings. Bye. Listening to the tape Bye. may be too much detail Bye. Bye for mm. some traders out there, but it really helps mm. you stay connected to what is going on in the here and now in your markets. Yeah. Um, especially if you're following multiple markets, you can actually bring up Welcome to any price number squawk. of price squawks Market open. and Sal. give them unique Bye. sound effects. Uh, some traders prefer the um, instrumental sounds that we offer. There's over a hundred sound effects to choose from, so you can be picky. Make sure it's something that you can easily listen to for hours on end. And is easily identifiable from the other markets that you are listening to in Price Squawk. So one useful outcome of using Price Squawk out of the box like this is that you can actually bring up a default Price Squawk for a bunch of markets and listen for where volume is flowing into the market and traders are getting excited. And you can easily tell which market has volatility and fresh volume flows based on the loudness of the trade sounds in that market and the frequency of hit and lift alerts that you hear. Um, you can tell how aggressive the buyers versus sellers are by the frequency of your large lift or hit alerts. In some markets, the buy and sell trade sounds might be a bit too overwhelming, such as the E-mini in high volume flow conditions. That means you need to apply some filtering to your trade sounds. So you can either do that in the recon tape itself using the size filter setting or you can click on the config tab here and use what is called trade sound filtering in Price Squawk and your minimum setting. So this means you're only going to hear trades that occur that are greater than a five lot in size in the gold market here. 
And if I enable trade sounds in the Mini Nikkei, trades over 50 lots will be heard. So that can very quickly reduce the amount of noise in your yeah. audible feedback of the tape. You'll still get the feedback of the volume flow, just with fewer trade sounds. And that actually opens up the window for you to enable some of the more advanced price squawk features and the other volume alerts that are built into price squawk. Now you can actually assign specific sound effects for uh, trades that occur above the offer and below the bid. And I'll refer you to the user manual here, but they're in your user options. So if we want to hear a specific sound for below bid trades, we can enter the name of the sound effect here. And likewise for above ask. 100 hit. A setting you might not be familiar with is the ability to inverse the price pitch relationship. That means is that instead of uh, pitch increasing as price um, prices move upwards, they will decrease. So this is useful if you're listening to inversely correlated markets. You can actually use this inverse pitch setting given that the price relationship is identical to listen to the essentially the the price spread between those two markets. Now if you have a different tick relationship you may want to look into using changing the pitch interval so that as the value of each market changes they'll have an equivalent pitch. Another useful combination of the jigsaw recon tape and price squawk is that you can actually print only buy side or sell side trades in the recon tape and what that means is price squawk will only play trade sounds for the relevant side but its algorithm for detecting increased volume flow will only be pertinent to the buy or sell side so for instance if you have two instances of the gold market up and have one filtering trades by trades at the bid and the other by trades at the offer now the auto yeah. algorithm which i keep referencing to is going to increase the sound yeah. of your buy trade sounds if there is an increased flow of buying and vice versa for yeah. selling in the other price squawk and this is as opposed to just increasing the trade sounds if there's an increase in volume yeah. so you can use that yeah. as some input to yeah. your trading decision making that there is a increased yeah. buying interest in the current market conditions and vice versa yeah. for selling conditions so yeah. I find it useful if I'm yeah. not closely following a market to just have the volume. trade sounds on casually in the background and this is actually the first feature that existed in price squawk over five years ago i implemented it in the bund so outside of the main trading session i could still keep an ear tuned to where the volume was entering the market once the main morning session had ended yeah. So if the market had quietened yeah. down um, and someone came yeah. in to do some business, all of a sudden the trade sounds would spark up yeah. Yeah. and that could mean yeah. some potential trading oppor opportunities for me. So hopefully you got some ideas of how to use the price squawk default settings here. Uh, in the next video we'll look into using some of the different volume filtering conditions so you can actually filter your trade sounds based on a range of different volume accumulation metrics thank you for watching